Hey guys, what's going on? It's Molten Marlin here, and I'm finally back with another Borderlands 3 video. Today we're going to be going over Manvark, which is a crew challenge. So to start off, let's talk about getting to Manvark. Manvark is on Pandora, and the fastest way to get there is by fast traveling to Slaughter Shaft. And once you get to Slaughter Shaft, just go to the travel point behind, which is Conrad's Hold. And that is where Manvark is. If you happen to not have the fast travel, you can just run through Conrad's Hold and then travel to the Slaughter Shaft and take a few steps and then get the fast travel point. Now let's talk about what exactly Manvark drops. So Manvark drops the Head Explosion Sniper Rifle, which ricochets three rounds every time you get a critical hit. So it is essentially a Jacob's weapon on steroids. And the other bad part is, unfortunately, I do not have any footage to show you, which brings me to my next point. I have done this run at least 40, 50 times, and I have not gotten the head explosion sniper rifle. Now, it takes about 5 minutes to do a run each because Manvark has 3 phases and on top of the phases you have to run back into Slaughter Shaft after you kill Manvark so you then spawn in Slaughter Shaft and then travel back to Conrad's Hold. That alone takes about 2 minutes to do each so 5 minutes per run. 40 times, I don't know how long that is, like 4 hours, and I have not gotten a head explosion sniper rifle. Another potential downside of this farm is that every time you attack Manvark, like freaking 15, 20 other Vark hits just jump out. If you don't happen to kill them, let's say in like 30 seconds, then they keep evolving and then at the end, you get a bunch of super badasses after you, and that can really mess you up especially if you're still fighting Manvark at the time. So to summarize this up, I would only recommend farming Manvark if you actually needed the head explosion sniper rifle. There are so many alternative ways and different metas to use, and I haven't really seen one with the head explosion, so I would not recommend this farm because he drops garbage loot every time, and it's usually just a waste of time. But on the bright side, he is super easy to kill. On the downside, however, it takes around 5 minutes to do each run, which adds up, and you could be killing like Grave Ward in like 30 seconds. So, that's the video guys, I hope you enjoyed, please subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one.